Hi, Rob Papen here. Let me introduce you to RPEQ RE, a great go-to equalizer for mixing and mastering your music in Reason. It has many features, but the most important aspect of EQ is the sound of it. I truly believe that we offer a natural, warm sounding EQ with a silky sound. How you can check this out and compare to other EQs? Well, try it out in the higher frequencies. There you can hear it best. Let me first show you the sections that you can find inside RPEQ and these I will explain in more detail later on. In the upper section we have the presets and you can put on off the spectrum display and control how it responds. Below this upper section we have the graphic EQ but also with controls below it to have additional control and fine tuning options. It is an 8-band EQ which offers regular EQ mode and mid-side EQ mode. On the right side you can find saturation which can be compared to tape saturation. Also air function which is great on the master or for lifting up the main vocal in your music. While mixing you often need a high pass filter for removing low rumble or a low pass filter for high disturbing frequencies. This you can find here with several filter types. For mixing and mastering contemporary music, the mono stereo split filter is often an essential tool. Let's go now more into detail and let's start with the spectrum analyzer. There is boost control and release control of the movement of the display. You can switch on off this section by clicking on this button. If you don't use the spectrum analyzer in your work, simply close it as it will save CPU. Below the spectrum analyzer we find the 8-band EQ which can work in two modes or bypass. Normal mode is an 8-band EQ and this section you can select the bands that you like to edit. Selecting here also changes the graphic display above. Mid-side mode EQ means that band 1 to 4 are the mid-signal EQ parts and the band 5 until 8 are the side EQ parts. You can see it at the letters placed ahead of the bands. Third mode is off, which is still valid with up EQ in case you only want to use the other features like saturation, air, filter, or the mono stereo split filter. As you can see, the EQ section is divided in two parts, the graphic part and the section with the control buttons and dials. Why we did this will be clear very soon. The upper section you can edit using your mouse and in addition you can use also the computer alt key for changing the bandwidth. Fine adjustments by using the computer shift key while changing the parameter is also possible. Editing with the mouse in the graphic EQ is not always precise so therefore we added dials in the lower section. Fine adjustment by using the computer shift key is also possible here. If you go to the Anamixer EQ01 patch inside the introduction folder, another reason pops up why we added the lower section. The preset is a lineup from a classic channel EQ, found for instance at my own studio mixer. By using the lock feature for frequency, I can adjust the high filter and low filter without changing the frequency by accident. So band 2 and 4 are used for making a classic low and high filter setup. Bands 1 and 3 are free 
and can be used to sweep frequency bands. So these Anamixer range of presets are great on a channel or for having a classic analog mixer style setup. Oh yes, if you miss the high pass filter, just look down. Just click it on to have it effective in this patch. It has been set to 75 Hz and 12 dB roll off. But let's stay in the EQ section because I haven't told everything. Here you can select which band you want to edit, band 1 to 4 or band 5 to 8. To avoid unnecessary CPU power, each band can be turned on off. In case you use all the four bands and these are close to each other, you can shut them off for being visible in the upper section. Or alternatively, you can use solo. There's another solo in bandwidth or Q section. And this is an audio solo of the active bandwidth. Last but not least reminds me to mention about the EQ section that instead of frequency you also can select MIDI node for selecting the frequency that you want to change. Great for contemporary music or boost a certain bass note in your track, but also handy if at a given moment one note in the music is irritating. Now let's move over to the right hand section of Arp EQ and the other features inside the plugin. Saturation. The saturation section applies a warm FX to the sound, based on the FX of saturated analog tape recordings. Note that this is a very detailed change to the sound. The pre button arranges how the saturation section may be placed, either before the EQ section or at the very last part. Air. The air section represents an additional EQ band which works as a booster of very high frequency with a very wide bandwidth. This FX is perceived as giving the audio a bit more breathing room mid and top end. It works exceptionally well on mastering channels or to freshen up all the recordings. The air section can be put also to good use when applied to a lead voice to bring it out in the mix a bit more. Use your own ears to find the right setting using the frequency dial and amount dial. Filter. A classic use of the cutoff filters inside a mixer channel is of course the high pass filter. They are mainly used for removing low rumble on your track and are often set to a cutoff frequency of 75 Hz. Let's go back to this Anna Mixer EQ1 patch, which is a classic buildup of a mixer channel. Just by clicking on the filter, you can add a classic high pass filter cutoff at 75 Hertz. Essentially, such a filter can be compared to a synthesizer high-pass filter. 
only a synthesizer filter has more controls. Of course we love features, so we added some additional ones, like 12 dB or 24 dB filter types, and both appearing in two sound character types. Also next to cutoff, DQ or resonance is added. And to make it even more complete, we also added a low pass filter, which is great to remove high frequencies. Also in 12 dB and 24 dB, and with two types of sound character. This filter inside RPEQ can be used as classic mixer filter. But it is essentially a synthesizer filter setup, which means that there is far more freedom and great in combination with the back panel of RPEQ. If you like to be creative, and if I'm not wrong, the reason users are, the back panel makes it possible that you can CV connect the two filters, but also the eight bands. As always, the back panel holds the regular warning down here, which we add to all our plugins to avoid climate change. Okay, now back to the front panel, and last but not least, we have the mono stereo split filter. This feature is very popular in modern contemporary music. To get a tight low end, you can select a frequency, and below this frequency, the audio is mono. You can select the frequency here, but also use MIDI note value to set your split point. With solo, you can solo the mono audio signal, and with visual, you can make the split point visual in the upper graphic part. The mode makes you select the mono signal and most obvious is to use one of these three modes depending on your taste. Of course, RPQ has some very nice presets on board. Enjoy RPQ.